Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So at the end of the last episode, I'm very intrigued by honestly everything that's going on with Crowley and um, you know, he is one of, honestly, one of my favorite characters to watch because I think, I don't know what route he's going to go in this season. I feel like there's a lot of options and I'm very fascinated by it all. I don't know if we're going to deal with that at all in this episode, but I'm excited to get into more of this season. Let's go. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to... Oh my. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. I'm sorry, there's no uh, there's no D dog. Sonny, hey, so what's up? Oh. D dog. You disappeared. I came back, you were gone. He, he shipped me off to Bobby's for a couple months, and when we found you, you were lost on a hunt or something. That's what we told you, right? Oh. Sorry, that's what you told me? I lost the food money that Dad left for us at a card game. I knew you'd get hungry, so I tried taking the five-figure discount at the local market and got busted. A boy, something like a reform school. Yeah, more or less. It was a farm, and the guy who ran it, Sonny, he, uh, he looked after me. You gonna be cool to do this, or get you tired? Uh, no, I, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'll be fine. <clears throat> and everybody's okay with... Heading out to the Catskills. I am everybody. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. First up, we'll head out. Okay. Why didn't you just tell me you went to a boys' home? I don't know. Uh, it was Dad's idea, and then it just, you know, the story became the story. Okay, we're gonna dive into a little part of Dean's past. I'm interested. You were 16. You made a mistake. Yeah, I made the mistake. Look, I know how you think. None of this was Dad's fault. It's not this floor, so you take off those rope stompers. So he's an ex-con, huh? Don't worry, we're such angels. Trust me, he's more than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair. You know. Get this. Peanut butter and bread. Okay. And how about family? Well, his old man called. Once he found out what happened, he said, let him rot in jail. Appreciate it, Sonny. Where'd you get the shiner? You think that's funny? Oh, I think you're slow. You sucker punched me! Wait. Oh, come on now! You shouldn't do that, kid. Yeah, why? Because he's a cop? Because when you make him mad, he leaves with the key. Uh. Deputy do that? <laughs> well, then how'd you get it? Werewolf. Okay. Okay. Because you're hungry. Well, I'm not. Dean. Well, then why'd you steal bread and peanut butter? Oh. So this is Tony. Hey, I see you. You too, brother. Uh oh, and this must be Sam. Good to meet you. Back at you, brother. What kind of monsters? All sorts with Bruce the Monster Smasher. Hmm. <laughs> I'm clever, evil. I bet you do. Aww. I'm Dean. To me. <laughs> You're gonna be a man. You're gonna learn to shake like one. Oh right? my god, so, Dean with kids is always so people. adorable. Shake like that, you'd be all right. Oh, that's hey, it's already you know cute. Jack who worked here? Jack and his wife Doreen were rolling around in the hay. It wasn't true. He tried to kill them both. Jack got away, but Doreen. You killed her. With a meat cleaver. <gasps> Yeesh. All right, let's 
barbecue old McDonald here. Get the hell out of Dodge. Obviously, it's not going to be that simple, but we all know that already. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh god! What's wrong? Open up! Oh! You can stay here as long as you want, babe. You're doing good in school, you're making friends, you make the wrestling team. I'm proud of you. Oh. It's just I found a few occult looking symbols carved into your bedpost. Ah. Hey guys. Robin, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Meet my new ranch foreman here, Dan. Welcome to Cousins, what can I get you to? Bet you never thought you'd see me here, huh? Uh, look, I'm a little bit slammed right now. Do you guys want any of the specials? Robert. Dean Winchester. Um... You used to live up at Sunny's. Oh, oh, uh... Look, sorry, there's just, there's so many boys that pass through there, it's, it's hard to remember every, every name and face. Uh-huh. Oh! Yeah, uh, no, sorry, I just didn't. Uh, would you, excuse me, I'll be right back. Dude, let's go. Mm -hmm. What was that? Nothing. Nothing? Uh, well, obviously it was something. Mm-hmm. Who was that waitress? I said it was nothing. I tried to get in the saver, but the damn door wouldn't open. Locked? There's no locks here on the farm. Hey, Sonny, you got any employee records on the victims? In my office. Let's do it. What's gonna do about it? You gonna cry? Tammy, you're such a little weirdo. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. no! Tell me, what you doing? All right, you two. Where were you this morning when Ruth had her accident? Unless you're a cop, we don't need to tell you anything. Oh, oh, okay. Well, about that. <laughs> he put that really close to their faces. <laughs> So Either you touch him ever again, I'm gonna go all go on time on you. Understand me? Get the hell out of here. Oh, go, get. Hey, so anyway, uh, what is all this? It's our Hall of Fame. We have some pretty great athletes come through here, including your brother. Oh. He was Sullivan County 135 pound wrestling champion. Kind of emotional. It's lovely to see a place where where Dean got hey as close to a. Uh, she could give me a lesson anytime. Oh, I'm bored. Um, <laughs> as close to a normal childhood as he could possibly have gotten. You know what I mean? Or young adulthood, I guess. Then. What the hell? Oh no! No. Don't. Nope. Don't do it. What's this doing in here? Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't! Don't! Oh, I hate everything. I hate everything. What are you doing? 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 Guys, I'm not okay. <laughs> Carol, you didn't have to do it to the kid. Kid's gonna be about a stitches, but he'll be fine. Oh, good. The kid was bullying Timmy before the accident, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? Timmy was found in an abandoned building about a year ago by himself. No, I'm not sure how long he had been there. What about his parents? Well, they posted a picture on the internet, but no one ever showed up. Probably ghost possession. Meaning, what, we find Timmy and shove a fistful of salt down his throat? Forced ejection? You're taking the barn this time. Oh, is it mom? What's your dad do? Boring stuff. Do you like it? No, not really. But my dad expects me to follow in his footsteps, so I've kind of gotten used to it. The cars are freaking cool as hell. 
Fixing them is like a puzzle. Have you kissed many girls? <laughs> what? Yeah, of course. What? Have you seen Timmy? No, not yet, but he should be here any minute for his guitar lesson. Yeah, we're gonna cancel that. No time to explain, you just gotta trust me. Trust you. <laughs> and why would I do that again? Oh! You do remember me. Oh! I just took this last. I'm not going anywhere, bro. Who else would take you to the school dance? So oh, no. Date you and Chester? There were reasons why I had to leave. I don't have time to explain them to you right now. I gotta get you out of here. Hey! What are you doing? Isn't she at least Sorry. slightly privy to Sorry the fact that people you. have been dying around here? I can't stop it. Ah! What just happened in there? Okay, listen to me. Whatever happens, you stay inside this circle. I can't control her. Mm -hmm. Can't control who? Mom! Your mom, right? She saved me. Pushed me out. Before the car blew up. Oh. With her in it. We cried for my mom. And then she came. But she changed. Right. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna need that action figure. Action figure that was anchoring her here, Dean. Then what is? Oh man, they burned it for no reason. Him. Oh. I think maybe his mom can't let go when she's still protecting from the grave. Protecting him from what? Or from us? Maybe she doesn't know what threats are real and what's not, so she just mm. attacks all of them. Great. So yeah. Why, unless we waste the kid, we're sitting ducks. This is this is crazy. Oh, oh god. Oh boy. Girl. Damn it. Stop and go away. She's my mom. She's a ghost, Jimmy. And because she can't move on, she's going crazy. You'll be okay. Listen to me. Sometimes you gotta do what's best for you, even if it's gonna hurt the ones you love. Mommy. Stop it. Jimmy, come through, grip. Mommy, stop it! Stop hurting people! This is the family business. Told you it was boring. <laughs> you know, taking over the diner like Dad always wanted, but I don't. You know, I just, I love it. Oh. I guess we didn't know everything we thought we did at 16, huh? Mm. Sounds like Timmy's gonna need some help with Justin. Yeah, but he's got you. I always hate to see you go, D Dog. Can't thank you enough for this one, man. No. Oh. Hey, how'd you know Timmy asking his mom to leave was gonna work? I didn't. Total Hail Mary. Got lucky. Just got lucky. Kinda like you did with this place. I mean, here I was thinking this was the worst part of your life, and it turns out it was the best. Oh. Why'd you ever leave? Never felt right. Really? It was two months, Sam. Okay? And I couldn't wait to get out of here. I don't know what to tell you. Look at you. <laughs> you clean up good. Thank you. Never actually been to one of these school dances before. 
Think about that, Dean. Your old man's outside. And man, he's really something. He just said to tell you he had a job. Said you know what that means. Oh, Dean. This place gave me a second chance. And it's done the same for you, too. Mm -hmm. So if you want, I'll stick my neck out for you and I'll fight for you to stay. No. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Woo! For everything. We're gonna try to hold it together. Thank you. For what? For always being there, for having my back. And look, I know it always hasn't been easy. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh my word. Okay, well I really, really loved that episode so, so much. Um, Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Couple of things that I just, I, I guess, just to talk about right off the bat, it it was lovely to see that there was at least a very short and and small period within Dean's life where he, you know, was able to kind of thrive in a quote unquote normal way. You know, get a a wrestling championship and you know, uh, have a, a sweet little relationship, whatever, um, uh, with a, with a young woman and, uh, you know, sort of this kind of normalcy that came within this time. And it was almost like he could, he could see himself sort of living that life and, and, um, you know, possibly, following that path that was more about himself than his duty or loyalty to his family which you know as i feel like uh, as we've grown to know dean uh, at the end of the day he's going to go back with his family particularly with um with sam with his love for sam and you know um We've seen, you know, kind of the sacrifices that he, he, he makes throughout his life for Sam, but also it, it almost um, a lot of the time, I hope you understand what I mean when I say that, almost like unknowingly, you know, it's not even that, it, like, obviously he knows it, but it's like, it's more of an instinct than really making a choice um, with protecting Sam, taking care of Sam and, and all of that. And I really, really liked that kind of aspect of seeing him be able, you know, in these brief flashbacks, be able to kind of live his own life and, and sort of be a kid or a, a young man or, you know, um, and, and sort of just do what he might want to do. And um, I really liked seeing that. And there's obviously a very bittersweet kind of an air around all of that because you know obviously he didn't get to continue on in that life but I don't really know that that really would be a life that he would he would want to continue on in and, and, and everything um, yeah but not getting into that too much but um, I also wanted to say I really like these episodes I understand that when I look back at maybe this season, I'm not going to say this was the standout, most epic, amazing episode I've ever seen, you know, or anything like that. But I love when the show takes a break and does just a relatively, right, in comparison to other things that we've seen, a relatively simple case surrounded um, with, you know, decently good people, you know, particularly Sunny, I thought was a great character in here and everything. And, and we, we just, you know, it brings us back to the root of the show, which is saving people, hunting things, you know what I mean? Um, but like, it's, it's very, um, I, I do like, you, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on with, 
Ezekiel, there's a lot going on with Crowley, Kevin, just all this stuff, all this stuff. And you know, I'm, I'm ready to find out more. I'm excited to go on this journey. Well, excited and nervous, you know how it is. But I do love when we get these episodes where it's kind of like a little bit of, yes, yeah, sure, a simple story, so to speak, but it's with characters that I feel like, you know, are kind of sweet. The Timmy, I felt like was a was a, a, a sweet young boy who, um, you know, at the end had to sort of uh, let go of um, his mom in in a way and um, and and stand up and and do what's right and it's this beautiful thing. I mean, obviously, always Dean has such these lovely connections with these these kids that he comes across and everything like that and he he's he's a really good um i guess example for them or um uh, just he, he he is is really really good with them and helping them sort of grow a little bit i guess is the best way obviously he had a lot of practice with sam and everything too but it's just um i liked kind of his guidance as well and Timmy's sort of being able to let go of his mom, but also, you know, grow as a, you know, um, as much as he could throughout this episode as well and kind of learn new things about growing up and about maybe letting go and everything like that. Was it, you know, and, and so I, I like taking the time to, to explore these stories that maybe don't have a ton of focus onto the main plot. But it did have a lot of focus on to Dean and his past and, you know, decisions he's made and everything. I really, really enjoyed this episode a lot. I thought it was great. All right. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.